my hello and welcome to all of you i am dr sachin with another top ranker of neat pg dr anushka daniel she has secured a rank of 139 all india in neat pg 2024 heartiest congratulations anushka and welcome to the dam studio thank you sir anushka how are you feeling about your rank now uh, it is a great feeling okay. i was not expecting such a great rank tell us about yourself anushka um i am from 17 batch i have done my mbbs from shrayu medical college which is a private college in madhya pradesh bhopal okay when did you actually start your preparation uh i started my preparation after my first attempt that was last year neat pg 2023 i secured a rank of 18000 okay uh, so i took a drop and after that i prepared Okay, from eighteen thousand you have reached to one thirty nine. It's a milestone. It's a great, great improvement. So tell us about your journey. When did you start attending the dance classes? Ah, uh, so ah uh, initially I was uh, I was not a, a dance student initially, but after November I N I C T, I took the subscription of dance T N D. I was scared of changing my source at first because I felt like I have some visual memory, so that might hamper it. But later on, I was expecting to crack the November I N I C T itself, but I could not get a very good rank that would get me my dream branch. I was only getting M S O B G uh, from uh, Ames Raipur and Bhopal. So then I uh, got the subscription of Dams T N D, and I also took all the Dams C B Ts, like all of them I took. and uh, i took about 12 gts on dams so the video solutions were really helpful i mean uh, I, if uh, i made a mistake and i would hear the faculty say the solution then i would never make it again i was assured of that so initially my scores were not so good in the uh, dams gts like i my first score the in the first gt of dams i scored 133 correct but then initially it increased and then i was touching 170 165 170 towards the end okay great you have improved a lot over your journey in the last 6 months tell us your experience with the ini ct tnd that you have taken so as we all know that this neat pg was very atypical it mm. was very unlike the normal neat pg that we expect like last year's neat pg was a uh, highly pyq based and pyt based but this neat pg was very much clinical so i think that uh, dam sin i c t tnd helped me a lot with that i mean uh, it went into the depth and as we say that neat pg is always superficial but this was not a superficial neat pg exam it went into the depth so uh, dams i n i c t t n d helped me a lot with in that respect so i annotated the notes which i already had made i did not actually change my source but whatever extra points uh, um, i would get to know in the i n i t n d that i would put in my the uh, in my older notes only okay and you said you attempted all the c b t's how was your experience with the dams c b t CBT indeed. I mean, it will it will give you that real exam feeling. I mean, I'm very an anxious person, and in that I make a lot of silly mistakes. So going to the center and that will simulate the entire uh, environment of the exam place. So that has actually helped uh, reduce my anxiety. And then the video solutions come. So then you also learn from your mistake the same way. So dams GTs and CBTs are indeed very good. Okay, great. okay any general advice that you would like to give to the students who want to prepare from now for the next neat considering this exam i would say that uh, they should if they want to read i mean it is good this exam was also not uh, entirely different we did have pyts not exactly pyqs but pyts so if they are reading pyts they should not just read it superficially that this is the question this is the answer they should try to understand the concepts they should uh, go to the depths of it so because uh, being superficial is not going to help much so i always prepared with the mindset that i have to crack inict and i think that has helped me to crack the neat pg with such a great rank um so yeah that gave me an edge and uh, i think what mat i have always been an average student throughout my mbbs uh, but uh, i think consistency and discipline is what mattered and that is what uh, dams uh, quizzes 
that we have on telegram channels like uh, dp mams group is there and uh, even on dams official channel and uh, kashish sir's group so they organize these daily quizzes and that will keep you consistent and even if you have like you will passively keep revising that subject so i mean i did not do any silly mistakes in obg this time because of uh, the dams uh, channel of like obg deepthi mams channel because she emphasizes she frames the question in a way that will that will take care of those areas where you are likely to get confused in the exam like there was this question about uh, the site of fertilization the narrowest part of fallopian tube so it was very controversial people said that asthma should be the answer um, because it is the narrowest like uh, people usually expect that they will uh, that they will ask that what is the site of uh, tubal ligation so asthmas is the answer and i was looking for asthmas and then uh, there was another part to it it went into the next level why is asthmas the site of ligation is it because it is the narrowest or is it because it has the uniform thickness so that i could only answer because of deepthi ma'am great she will be happy to hear this <laughs> thank you for the telling about this any general advice suppose you are from chiraiyo medical college bhopal we forward this video to your juniors who are studying in your medical college and they are a third mbbs or final mbbs student starting their preparation today what is your advice to your juniors if uh, they have time they should read uh, they should read the standard books not entirely but at least the pyts they should try to read as i already said that they should not be superficial go to the depth try to understand and make concise notes with that like understand the concept but make concise notes like we emphasize in dams also that concise notes anything that you will be able to revise in the last 10 days because before i in ict november i had very bulky notes i was not able to revise so then i concise them like over a period of time and then i was able to revise all the subjects in the last 10 days and that actually helped me in recalling in the exam Okay thank you so much Anushka any any other thing that you would like to say before we finally close the interview I any particular that, person that you would like to thank today for this success you have achieved the massive success uh yeah i would like to thank uh, my dear god definitely it was not possible without him uh and uh, Uh, also all the dams faculties this time we had a lot of radiology questions in shift 2 so i gave the exam in shift 2 so we had about 20 to 25 questions in radiology which i was again able to crack because of so many sir teaching and obg also had a very good uh, amount of questions in the second shift so as i already told the imams group and yeah being consistent and disciplined that's all thank you so much it was pleasure talking to you wish you all the best for your future success Okay thank you